Hi everyone, just doing a quick update on my giant sweet potato attempt. So if you haven't been keeping up with my garden tours, this is the variety I'll be attempting with. So you can just buy the slip from Bunnings. This variety is called Burygard. It's an orange one and it is a vine type. Unlike the other two varieties I attempted, they were both bush types. But here it is, I'll show it how it's been growing. We are currently, well, by the time I filmed the last clip for this video, it is around 90 days. By the time I upload this, it's around 100 days. But yeah, I never attempted this variety in such a large growing space. It's been growing quite rigorously, more than I expected. I did have to put a second pair of bamboo sticks. Because I wasn't actually uh, planning to attempt a giant sweet potato attempt, I ended up putting it in this bed. But if I was prepared, I would have put this on the other square bed because this one is next to this native tree over here, which it does shade it a bit. So we do get a bit of morning shade because it's right against the fence. But now a lot of the leaves have vined up to the top of the bamboo sticks. We're now getting some morning sun. Unlike the potatoes, it's a bit harder to snoop around in the soil here because there are a lot of roots on the surface and you don't want to disturb it. Normal potatoes is a bit easier just to snoop around. They have less roots to break. I think we're on a good track right now. As I'm editing this, the stem is actually a lot thicker than I thought, which is promising. We still have another 50 to 70 days. I think the plant's starting to slow down, which is good, because this is the bulking phase. You don't want the plant to be focusing on any more leaves. Now, unlike my first two attempts with the garden bed that was covered in plastic underneath, this one is open at the bottom. With clay soil at the bottom, I'm gonna hope if a potato does grow under there, it doesn't rot. So yeah, this is what the plant currently looks like. So if you haven't seen my first and second attempt, my first attempt, which I did right technically, I got a 3.5 kilo sweet potato. That one grew for 150 days. That one was with Northern Star. And my second attempt, which was a really great harvest, but not what I was aiming for, I got 8 I think it was 18? 17 to 18 kilos of sweet potato. That one grew for 170 days. I didn't get to weigh any of them individually, but I don't think any of them even reached 2 kilos. Maybe 1.8 at best. If you want to see those videos, the link is in the description. Although I was just trying to aim for all the sweet potatoes to be in the center where the base is, we do have a few of these ones vining all the way out. <laughs> this one is pretty long. So yeah, that's a bit away from the center, but that's okay. It's pretty hard to control what grows on the ground. And we do have a second one here. It looks like it loops up and back down. I wonder what went on there. As you can see here, there's one thick root at the top. Although, I don't think there's anything big yet. That has the highest potential right there. That one big root. But anyway, this is the end of this little update. I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to this one because I am too getting excited about this. It's always things with like root crops. They just can't see the whole thing. But yeah, let's see what this produces in Harvest Day. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.